Okay guys, so let's look at the break-even chart. You can see the following information can be represented on the break-even chart. Number one, I can show the break-even point. That is in terms of units. I can show the break-even point in dollar terms, which is the revenue terms. And I can also show the margin of safety. Okay, now referring back to the previous videos, you guys can see this horizontal line is your fixed cost, all right? That's the horizontal line because regardless of the change in output, your fixed cost remains the same. Now, point A, I want everyone to focus on point A. Point A is the point where I can say total revenue, that's this total revenue line, is intersecting the total cost line and this is your total cost line so where total revenue and total cost will intersect your profit will be zero right so this becomes the break even point in units terms on the x-axis because x-axis represents your output and this becomes the break even in dollar terms as this represents the y-axis so point A and these, these dotted lines can show break even in units and break even in your, your dollar terms. Besides that, we can also look at and locate the margin of safety. So in this graph, the firm is actually producing this output. So this is my actual output at the moment. And you can see region B, that's, that shows your margin of safety. All right, because remember margin of safety was the difference between actual output and the break even output. Now, margin of safety similarly can also be shown on the y axis. So if this is your break even in, in your dollar terms, this dotted line over here, if I can just join this, is your actual revenue. All right, so that's the firm's actual revenue. So margin of safety in dollar terms is the difference between the actual revenue and the break-even revenue. So we can also locate that. Finally, I would also want us to focus on the fact that in the region above point A, which is region C, that's the region where you can see your total revenue is greater than total cost. So in this region, total revenue is above total cost and that's your profit region and region D you can see that the total cost line which is this line lies above the total revenue line so over here that total revenue is less than total cost and that shows your loss region now I'm assuming everyone can figure this out that total revenue line should start from the origin because at zero level of output your revenue will also be zero and it will linearly increase over time. Okay, and let's say if they ask you to locate the profit on this graph, you can say profit will be at the actual level of output. This is your total revenue and this is your total cost. So the difference between total revenue and total cost at the actual output is your current profit. Okay, so everyone should be able to read this graph and locate these points which can be shown on the break-even graph. Now, I would also want to discuss a bit as to how to draw this graph, like what points to use if you were to draw this graph. Alright, so to draw a, a break-even chart on any question, you, you need to have the following points. Number one, you need to know your actual fixed cost. Remember, that's the horizontal line shown above. So that should be given to you in the question. Number two, you need to calculate the break even point. All right. So for units, remember, we use this equation fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. And for dollar terms, you have to take your break even in units and multiply it by the selling price per unit. Thirdly, you also need to know your actual units or output. So at, at the actual units, you would need to first find your revenue. So for your revenue, you just take your actual units 
and multiply it by the selling price to find your actual revenue and you will also have to find your actual cost for your actual cost you can say actual cost is made up of your fixed cost plus variable cost so fixed cost is already given for your variable cost what you'll do is you'll take the actual units and multiply it by the variable cost per unit so just add up all all your direct material direct labor any variable production overheads and just multiply it by the number of units so you'll be able to locate your actual cost as well so if you have these three points you you should be able to draw this graph let's go back to the graph just to refer to these points okay coming back to the graph so so first draw this horizontal line that is your fixed cost all right so you know your fixed cost you can draw this horizontal line locating it as your fixed cost then locate point a remember point a is the break even point so you've already calculated the break even in units and break even in dollar terms so draw this on the x axis and draw this on the y axis you get your point a then also write down your actual revenue actual revenue is this point at your actual output that's your third point actual revenue and also locate your actual total cost which is this point now to draw the total revenue line remember connect these three points using a scale please one two and three origin point a total revenue so if you if you join this you'll have the total revenue line for total cost you have to connect your fixed cost from starting from here remember fixed total cost line starts from the fixed cost point a and this actual total cost so if you connect this line over here you should get your total cost line and as a result you have your break even chart label the margin of safety your your profit region and your loss region Similarly, the break-even chart can also be represented in a profit volume graph as well. Let me show that as well. So if we were to show a relationship between profit and loss and output, we can say that at zero level of output, the firm would start with a loss. This loss would be exactly equal to fixed cost because remember, if you go back to the profit equation, there will be no contribution since there will be no units, so the firm will have to pay the fixed cost only. So the firm at zero level of output starts with the fixed cost. Then the next point to connect is the break-even point. So break-even point should lie somewhere over here because break-even units is the point where the firm makes a zero profit. All right, so, and the firm can finally also show its actual output where the firm might be making some profit. I could label this over here. Now all I have to do is to connect these lines. So you would get something like this. We can call this to be the profit volume chart. What this chart actually shows is that as the firm linearly increases its, its output, its profit should also increase. Because once you've covered your fixed cost and other cost and you're making a positive contribution you should be making a profit over here so again i can label this that if i if i produce less than the break even point i'll be in the loss region if i produce more than the break even point i will be in the profit region over here all right so we can now compare the break even chart and the profit volume chart just to conclude this portion of marginal costing, let's also look at some of the assumptions and limitations made by marginal costing. Okay, so break-even analysis is made on certain assumptions. Let's start off with these assumptions. The first assumption is that all units produced will be sold. So there is no inventory. Units produced will be sold. All right, so there are no changes of inventory. So everything that we produced are sold that's a big assumption we're making over here 
सेकेंडली वे आर नॉट अलाउंग फॉर एनी प्रोडक्ट मिक्स सो वे आर जस्ट कैलकुलेटिंग दिस फॉर अ फैक्ट्री विद अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट बट एज यू गाइज नो दैट अ फैक्ट्री वुड हैव मल्टीपल प्रोडक्ट्स एज वेल मूविंग ऑन वे आर ऑल्सो अज्यूमिंग कॉस्ट टू बी इधर फिक्सड और वेरिएबल सो वे आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग एनी सेमी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट आई हैव डिस्कस सेमी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट बिफोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर टेलीफोन बिल हैज अ कम्पोनेंट ऑफ फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एज वेल but our assumption is that all cost is either fixed or variable which is again unrealistic for the fixed cost we are assuming fixed cost to remain fixed for the entire period of time during our analysis but as you guys know that there comes your step fixed cost so remember that if you if you want to produce beyond a certain level of capacity you will have to get another factory when you get another factory your rent cost will obviously be stepped up so we're not considering any step fixed cost we're only considering fixed cost to remain fixed over there and there will be no increment like for this in the real world every year your rent will increase along with the inflation rate as well that is also not considered finally we're also assuming that variable cost will remain linear with the level of output but when a firm increases its bulk buying they often get discount so we're not considering any bulk buying discounts over here we're also assuming selling selling price to remain fixed as well so there are some seasonal discounts sometimes the price goes up sometimes the price goes down but our assumption is that selling price and variable cost both will remain constant over time all right so i think we've covered a good portion of the break even analysis I would ask everyone to look at the questions that I would solve for break even analysis and then in the next portion I will cover marginal costing in different decision making situations